Roll for Immortals, no surprise there, get used to it. As they make their way towards the B site, you've got three players defending Phoenix, Sova, and Omen. And as I say that, Poach goes down, gunned down through the tin box. As they make their way further and further towards the site, Ye is at least going to find one as they attempt to push in further. Boy also picking up a kill himself, but JMO took down Ye in the meantime. They're going to secure the spike, but the site is far from secure as everyone from the defense has already made it on the other side of the wall. Oh, what you can see, there's one towards spawn. They're going to triple peek Seb. Seb's going to do what Seb does best, somehow staying alive way longer than one would one anticipate. But now the spike isn't exactly planted for these players. Jamo low on HP, swaps over as he's run out of ammo. And the dig shot comes through, has to peek him. Can he oh get it? Oh, my no. God. As Sova was able to get out of dodge in time, shot up. In position One with the pistol, getting ready. shot from behind. Long. Android's gonna pick up two, and a follow-up for Poach. And Box with the Omen here as well. There's the ult being popped by Omen to get the intel. There's the knives coming out. So the first toss of knives out will result in success for Yang. There's still one on the other oh. side. Can't quite get the timing right, so that's one Neptune there. Landing. But it'll come down to just one as Boy does what Boy does best. Multi-kill. Losing one player out of that one. And on top no of that, it was just run. a blade storm that was invested as an ult. That was a big round for and Box. Now we have the Hunter's Fury coming in towards the elbow, and it's gonna take down two, so that weakens up huge. Android gets a Frags, but it's still gonna be the classic from Shot Up that connects in the face. So a four to tag at that point too, but he doesn't know that there's a second one in there with Gangsta, but Shot Up is gonna open it up with the showstopper, but does not connect. So the show continues on, but we still have the Cypher step inside the box. He's looking for the spray. He connects on the Shot Up. Meanwhile, they only lost one player on that defense. And for Immortal, they lost everybody at that point right now. Now the Phoenix on the attacking side will go ahead and run it back. JMO is going to go straight through the dark cover in showers. Ye does at least pick off JC Stanny left. before that happens. Can't toss out I the hot hands exactly. in time, but that doesn't stop Neptune from finding a kill. He'll rip off the hat before he can get his rifle back out. Boy is there to pull a bullet between his eyes. It's now down to two as Yaser continues to be a damaging presence, but Anbox has lost their advantage, and it's now down to a two-on-two. -two. Mass TP away from the A site, left. over to B. There's still hardware that they have to get through. They have time to get the spike out, but no, it got stuck for a second. Does it slow it down enough? They're going to go ahead and try it, but no, they can't do it. So uh, they got stuck in the tripwires, it looked like. You could pistol, so it's an eco round coming in for Immortals. Well, we have hot hands around the corner. That's going to burn one down, and that's going to be an easy kill from Android. That's a spike down as well. Actually, it's a force buy coming through, so Shut Up is able to retaliate back. So it's a four on four now into this round. No, actually, sorry. That was a phantom that was made from the previous round. The rest will have pistols only, but it's still not enough. Boy in that close position didn't get as much going for him as one might expect. And there's the tripwire. If we've been seeing those tripwire fury, the rocket not going to find any fatalities as well. So we're at a five on five even strength, although the jet is very low on HP. Now the teleporter is heard, is even spotted, so we have Boy that's gonna break that camera, but he really needs his teammates to move forward, and they're all stuck towards the spawn, they're trying to move out towards Pipe, but they have a perfect crossfire setup so far, with darts on both ends, it's all gonna be way. the defensive side that pulls this one out towards the default. Now the blades are coming out from Easter, but JC's done, he gets a triple kill on top of that. Now low HP, Yester getting one, and that is gonna be it. Well hold, well held. Currently in Hookah, had two targets around the corner. Flash goes a little bit too high. Neptune's gonna continue spraying, but Android is there with the trade. Spike planted. So four on three, man advantage for Anbox. Missed shot, but set right exactly there. Right. Good positioning, good trade spots coming out. First shot's gonna be one on the money for JMO. Curveball around the corner. There's the jet, but it doesn't make a difference. It will be yay to hit. Go here on the first half, eight to three in favor of Anbox. They've been dominant here on this defender side as we've seen before. And Yaster aggressive position, turns it up with the first and second kill of the season, Johnny. Thoughts come out early from Ye, but he is taken down from that position. Android just continues to hold W with run it back. Gets flashed back in towards Benz. Now we've got a Hunter's Fury sending pulses out. Will it find a fatality? No, just damage dealt. Numbers advantage again. Andbox has been in this position so many times. Look where the spike is in relation to the players. They don't have anything to get them across. There's no smokes available for the remaining two. They don't really have anything to work with. It's going to have to be off raw gunfights. We'll see what they can do. Android in this position, firing away. One player remaining. There. Look at the play. Andbox. 
try to work their way in. There's Ye with the fly out, but JMO up in Huka. Flash goes out, but because of the dark cover, it's not as successful as one might anticipate, but the pinch is in from spawn. Zeb will at least guarantee a spike plant, but Boy is doing a little bit more damage. Nice dig shot coming out from Zeb, and a follow-up as well from Boy. The aim on point, but the weapon's not exactly in control. A few going with two teleporters in the back for Huka, while leaving Android lurking towards the lamps, and it pays off. <laughs> There's the kill. JC Stanny getting the call, obviously, from his teammates, so it's a important back fake. They're going to continue pushing in anyway. Sova starts sending down some shocks from the ult, and that'll be enough to take out Poach. Brings us to even strength. Uh, shot up getting creative. Blast packs over top of the tripwire. It's going to get now, hurt, They though. obviously heard that, so they know that someone's moving into that position. But it could have been so wild. But no, they're not anticipating it to a certain degree. It re relies on... Yay! Watching the flank and unfortunately wasn't paying close enough attention that resulted in his teammate's demise. There's a nice shot onto JMO, but he's gonna have to hit another one as JMO was popping the ult at the time. Shock dart right on the money. Yay is very low on HP. Nice first shot. Does he get the follow-up? Oh. No, it's just off the mark. Pulls it just wide to the right. Immortals will survive with enough time on the clock. Should be about two seconds or so. Immortals are looking for this counter from just one player inside Hookah. And it's going to be shot up to get the first kill on the Gaster, while the rest are still waiting for that initial push to avenge their teammates inside of that area. Here they go, trying to take control of Vuka. Shaw's trying to make, keep that from being possible. Has some backup as well. Goes to the sidearm. Not necessary. Can continue to push forwards with the op in hand. Making, making a lot of noise, though. So Gangsta is going to go back towards Elbow and just go for the Hunter's Fury down towards Long C. It's going to connect onto Boy. We have a paint shell being thrown towards the Hookahs. We have a one versus one in that area, but it's still going to be Pocha gets the tap on the shot up. So that means that Hookah is open. We left. have the rest of them pushing in towards that site. But it's still a trade after trade. JC Sunny's running out from the spawn after a paranoia, and he's still going to lose it versus Android. And unfortunately, it leaves only one to go. Neptune on a three versus one. The spike being planted at a default spot, and just under the window is going to be that Sovo just waiting as he comes out. And the wall bangs the peak after from Tunican. And again, we've seen aggression in mid. Now, the question is whether or not they read this, because here's the Phoenix in position. Now, that's a great kill, but with, with Omen, or with the Android, excuse me, being pushed up, exactly or not Android, what am I saying? Cover, the Rays out. pushed up. You could potentially see a backstab, but it doesn't work. They read it out nicely. And now Anbox is in this great position with a five on three coming into what could potentially be the final round, working their way into B. Sova's stuck behind sight. Now the pulse comes out from the Hunter's Fury. Somehow they don't clear this corner. How did they not see him? It seemed like they walked right towards one another. It's down to one, it's Neptune. The last hope. He's back behind the double stack. Spike is down on site, but there's three targets waiting on the opposite side. Yay, we'll pick up the- And they'll instantly start working their way in. Through the cyber case, they go the blast back. Left. Actually pushes back wow. his teammates, but it doesn't matter. They've made it out onto the site, and the wall is up, as is the orb. So well played. That poisonous cloud gives them cover Spike from planted. screens. The wall gives them cover from heaven and ramp. The blast pack and paranoia opens up the site. Nice execute coming in from them. Exactly what we expect to see. The blast pack from shot up, not good. Poach with the one tap dirt nap one for JC Stanny. Now taking the distance fight against the last remaining target and Neptune who has to pull the dart. Off. Now that move, getting caught running away, might open up that. Exactly, right there. Seb, who is waiting around the corner. They're not going to anticipate that lurking Cypher, who's now low on HP. And Seb is stacking up a body count currently. Somehow he even finds a fourth, wow. leaping around with that classic, making it difficult to connect. Shot up the sole remaining survivor for Immortals has now scooped up a Spectre. But there are four targets waiting on the other side, and the spike planted halfway across the world from shot up's position. Well played from Seb, but I also got to give credit to Poach. The bailout maneuver with the, the orb and the wall falling made them believe they could go on the chase. Seb just sat there waiting to deal with. And there's that snake bite going out. Poach sitting back behind the dark cover. Seb's found two, make it three. Android picking up one of his own. There's Seb yet again, back to control.
They have the weapons, they have three ults to work with. I think this round you save the run it back, you save the showstopper. Just try to get the weapons on your end to see if it works out, and it works out perfectly for a shot, shot up. And he goes with the showstopper to look down mid, and he doesn't see anybody as of yet. And that is gonna be now Yacer coming out from ropes, trades it out, and that's the showstopper down. But he immediately trade out as well for another kill for a three versus three. Neptune pushed all the way out towards this garage side, but they think that the action is somehow happening towards A. Meanwhile, Yaster is walking back slowly inside Ramen to pick up the spike, well, and it could still force a rotation hiding. across, and Seb, after that neural theft, is going to be huge. Now that might give Good a chance day. for them to rotate back towards this mid side, but now that forces the hand of Immortals too. They have to throw running backs, they have to run their ults, they can't afford to lose left. this crown, as you mentioned, Box, so this is a great way right now for Nbox to just put the money back into their favor, or put the rounds back into their favor, even if they lose this one here. Look at the position. Oh my gosh, they might be able to time this right. No, they're looking the wrong direction. So as a result, Neptune gets the double. The first round likely to go on the board here is Neptune's. And that's gonna be the call. They don't have a showstopper to try to get that type of entry, but you could still see that very similar type of strategy of the blast pack into the site followed by the flashing. And it opens it up with the headshot onto Neptune. This is one thing that I felt like was lacking the last couple of rounds, was that proper use of the Viper. As they make their way out, Gangsta's at least able to get one kill through the Cyber Cage. But J-Mo, is he gonna win this round? j -No. It's a four on one, and he's got an AWP. You know what's gonna happen. He's gonna save. He's gotta back off because it's just, they're being very careful about peeking this. <laughs> you can see right now, it's a, Bit of a game of chicken. That's a great flash to get things going. And they try to stop it. Gangsta One somehow combos onto two. It brings everything down to just Seb. But who else would you want other than Seb? We've seen him pick up multi-kills round after round. He's got the hot hand currently. Seconds not left. to be I confused with the spike. hot hand skill of Phoenix. He's picked up the spike. And he's working his way back towards B. You've got Omen and Spawn making sure that they can't push through heaven and go for the flank on the backside of A or even onto B, but they're stacking all of their eggs in that A basket. You've got Rays there as well. So Seb has a clear left. path onto the site and also great awareness of the clock has to go ahead and drop the spike down in just a second and it does. Right, Tripwire right. goes in, no cybercades left. And I'll go ahead and put a cam down to clear the corner just to get into that position. Has to be careful though as Omen is right around the corner, and it's going to be a battle that will likely favor the Omen. And yeah, JC Stanny just holds, waiting for his teammate to get there. And sure enough, he'll come through, hit the tripwire in the end, but the spike will be defused. Definitely like the attempt from what Seb was trying to do. But at that point, you saw with the time remaining, you still had to play somewhat passive-aggressive of how Immortals wanted to play it. They didn't stack up to try to cover that spike. They need super aggressive push here for Xbox. Why players get rid of push from the site? Oh my god. <laughs> A total waste, but worth. It didn't matter. <laughs> Android sees that Phoenix return to his original position after run it back expires. And he's like, you know what? Oh, who cares? <laughs> Shotgun range, blow him up with the rocket. So let's see if they use the rolling thunder. Nope. He's just gonna fly in with the paranoia. This time they're ready for it. So Gangsta says, that's cute because you've done it like a million times. We're gonna be ready. Uh, in this instance, the Rolling Thunder comes out, but it's a little bit late and it also hits Seb. So yeah, he's trying to help, but ends up doing more harm than good in ropes. Again, we talked about that in the first half, how it gives you control of events. But boy, who's up on top of the box. He's got support from Android. And he's also got another one here as well. That was actually oh a kill across the map. Two players remaining. You're trying to waste the economy a bit. As Seb is looking to even push through the smoke, hopefully to try to catch one off guard and maybe even go for a defuse. This is going to be the first this ninja is no I see. Problem. Oh my gosh. He might actually get this. It's so insanely close. No! Oh my, oh my god. god. You know what though? That's going to cost them. Look at the positioning right now from Ambox. They've got players waiting right around the corner. Do they clear this? No. The double pistol is just too much. They're going to try and scoop up the rifle. They do, but in the meantime, JC Stani gets there with the backup to make sure they can't pick it up further. And a follow-up as well means the B site is now empty. And they can go ahead and position the attack in that direction. So 
There's six rounds on the board for Mortals, and they're likely to find number seven. We saw a very similar outcome in the Ambox game earlier against Moon Raccoons, where they got real close to closing out the game. And, uh, one of their first chances at playing in a Grand Finals. But unfortunately, it's not really panning out so well for them. We've seen a couple of promising wins for the team since its inception. Obviously, this is a bit of a different roster. Third place at the Base Clan Invitational, fourth at the 30 Bomb Summer Cup. But they've still got some fight left in them. They're not willing to surrender as of yet. JC Stanny, a little bit of a risky ult based on where he was sitting, but decides to commit into the backside of sight, going past the Heaven player with Spike. JMO hits a nice shot on Ye. And now they've got Sight Control tapping the Spike, trying to bait them out. There's the Snake Bite, so that little Ring of Venom going to do some additional damage. That delays just a bit and gives them time to set up positions. Now, the Cypher is actually disconnected from this play. And you can see that cover Toxic Screen coming out. And another Dark Cover from JC Stanny. That'll allow him to come across, and oh man, the timing <laughs> was almost perfect on to uh, the Viper, but it doesn't work out so well. As you can see, there were some bullets that kind of traced around, lucky enough to survive. Mm -hmm. So it's down to Seb and Poach, Viper and Cypher, trying to make their way back in. Can the rhyming pair get past the setup that is now in place with Neptune on high? Not gonna happen. The young fragger who sees salvation for them is that it's an eco for Android and companies who see them on the it starts off with a flash and still a kill, but it's straight up by shot up and JC Stani. Beautiful. Make that now the pistols are taking the upper hand. Is it gonna end like this? There's the ult being popped. This hand box gets aggressive off the back of that one. The neural theft will give away positions as well. They're gonna try to work with what they've got. Immortals. They started fighting their way back into it, but look at this, the pistol coming around the corner, J. Mo with the ghost. And they've somehow brought it back down to one. Boy up in the corner, make it a 1v1. Spikes down right around the corner. He's got the jet. No, he gets caught leaping off that statue. It was Blade Storm being utilized as his run it back. Will the knives work out for J-Mo? No, has to somehow survive. Just hugs the wall and hopes for the best. Gets some support from his teammate. There's Android on site though, executing. And it brings us down to a two on three. The damage dealt to Gangsta is pretty left. heavy. So the hot hands heal being thrown down. Seb is there to take out Shot Up. And it'll come down to this, a two on two with 20 seconds yeah, remaining. Course. They still have yet yeah, to get the spike down. Neptune is looking for a corpse so he can throw that hat out and get the remaining <laughs> the players' time. positions. They have to go ahead and stick it. There's the kill coming in from Steph. It's now down to one. It's Gangsta, 41 HP, and he's got to try and force it out to take it into overtime. Flashbang to lead them in. Will work out nicely, oh! and there it is! Gangsta with the 4K! If it makes me the biggest nerd on Earth, rounds like that give me goosebumps. I love it. I live for it. <laughs> JMO with the quick shot coming out of the operator giving Immortals an advantage here. Again, overtime rules, win by dose. They gotta win two rounds and you swap every time. 5,000 spending cash, old points reset to half each time. So three out of six, four out of seven, depending on which characters you're using. We are at even strength though, back down to a four on four. You can see the raise for and box Android, very low on HP. But the raise for Immortals shot up, taken out early in the round. That camera putting JMO way out of position, but they trade it off right away, and that's going to be the cue to rush into the site. They still have the Phoenix inside there, just around the corner. They have to try to clear it out. The Audible is cute, but Gangsta, the man of the hour, gets two kills of his own and puts it on a two versus one situation. Poach going for a fake plant, looking back here towards our right side. He's going to go for that state fight just to secure at least the spike plan on his side and to prevent himself to get to getting pushed, sorry, from screen into elbows. Big paranoia is fully nearsighted. As he's looking back towards that left, he's gotta get the first kill, but cannot capitalize on that second one. And for the first time in this game, the most important moment in this game, we see Immortals take the lead on the defender side and on this map. Moving in, trying to find an opening, despite having that disadvantage. Slowly creeping their way through heaven, 
And that off shot rings out through dark cover. Will not connect. Oh, no. No. 30 no. Left. Gangsta accidentally kills his own teammate. Like Luckily, JMO is there with some backup. But you've still got to contend down. with the Cypher on site. And it's Seb of all people. Seb gets won before being traded out. But the spike has not made its way spike. onto the site. So there is still time, time for them to get the spike down. But it's allowed the defense to now get into a better position. Nice spike toxic planted. screen getting One in. As it will standing. somewhat eliminate the position of JMO. But it doesn't matter. He can shoot over top and force us into this 1v2. Now Poach is coming in. Down through the back One of the elbow. And there it is. Ooh. First kill going the way of Poach. Does he just stick it? He hears the dash. Does he anticipate the positional play? He's got this jet right around the corner with the op, and there it is. Poach will keep it alive as Anbox wants to prevent that third map from being a reality. They do not want to go to Haven. They but we reset everything all over again. After all of these rounds, JMO looking for a push, and it's a five-man rush here for Yesta and Anbox inside B site. This is the bread and butter we've seen from them, too. It's going to be the Android flying off the toxic screen coming out from the Viper. This has worked out well for them so many times, so they execute immediately after and punish. One Neptune and gets a great me. shot. Oh, wow, just like that. Snap of a finger. It's down to only one. And Whoa. Ye has found a 4K on the round as Andbox crushes the attempt. Aftershock were sped up even just a little bit or, I don't know. R right now, you don't really see a whole lot of fatalities. If anything, it's like a positional clear. Like you just yes. send it into a spot and you say, oh, there's no one there. It's fine. Um, I think, and I think it's totally fine because it, it's for yeah. me, it's something very similar to paint shells, right? The first one is not going to kill you. The second one will. If you're in a better position to run away, it flushes you out of your position. You can get picked off. But this round here, Bach, we're looking for a 3-2 split this time inside B. But look how passive we were playing inside the site. Can this be the round where Nbox can finally hold it back? Oh, Android, great position on top of the back box. I always love that angle. There's the nades Ooh. going in as well. Boy is in position. Top box, JMO with a quick shot. But it comes down to JMO, the off. Oh. Tries to go for the flying pistol, not 